Aloha Ohana, Pastor Limo Milani here. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something. So I made a video earlier today, but then I realized, oh my goodness, I need to redo this video, okay? So it's worth redoing. So anyhow, plus, the video was taking so long to upload, and I just went like, cut its line, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna redo it, okay? So anyhow, anywho, this is how it goes, okay? So, I don't know if you like to watch prank videos and stuff. So, anyways, I came across this video on YouTube, right? So, there's these two men, and they're doing pranks on people by asking for directions, right? So, one guy got his phone, and he approaches someone, and he acts like he's putting his arm around them, and he has the phone, so he got their attention, he's like, they're looking at his phone, and he's asking them for directions, and they're like, trying to point to him and tell him where to go, Okay? So the gentleman who's asking for directions, he tells him thank you and he walks off. Well, the person who gave the directions was oblivious to the man that was standing behind him and that was his arm on top of their shoulder. So when the man walked off, the one that was asking for directions, when he was like, okay, thank you, and he walked off, the person who gave the direction was sitting there and watch the person walked off and then like they realize like hey, wait a second what the heck is that on my shoulder like that's you know the, the guy's gone why is the arm like what is this what is this on my shoulder so they look down they're like like, like that and they freak out they roll over to look they see the other guy so they instantly getting up they get upset at that guy the one had his arm over there right and he's like whoa 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 it's just a prank it's just a prank right so anyways, I get a kick off of those videos. So I was cracking up, okay? And I seen them two times already. So this morning I was just rolling off of that video and I thought to myself, wow, that's so awesome because it's like, they was okay with the guy having his arms on them and everything, right? But then they realized once the person walked away, they're like, wait a second. So they, they like, <laughs> they're like freaking out the arm is there and they turn around they're freaking out because they get the arm over there and they look and then they see the other guy so they instantly they were scared and then they got upset they seen the guy like what the heck are you doing and the guy was like i'm sorry this is just a prank and all of this so anyhow that's just like how when we feel upset first we feel afraid and upset thinking that you know the lord is not with us you know, be thinking when we are in those zones of uncertainty and when we can see or feel the Lord's hand on us, we become afraid and upset. But in those moments when we are afraid and we can trust in the Lord, right? Because in perfect love, there there is no fear, right? Okay? In perfect love, there is no fear. And in God's love and in God's grace... He wants you to know that you don't need to be afraid. He's with you every step of the way. Amen. So we may not see the Lord's hand or feel the Lord's hand on us or on or in our life. You will have ups and downs. Okay. You will have ups and downs. But whether you feel him or not, he is still right there. The Lord will never walk away from you. Okay. The Lord is the one who goes before you. He smooths out their path for you. He is your direction. He is your instructions. Amen. He is the destination. And He is the way. He is the roadmap. He is the everything. He is our deliverer. He is our savior. He is our salvation. He is our healer. Amen. He is our good shepherd. He is there with us every step of the way. So, in the that right there is like just that um prank video just a boom and i watched that i was cracking up i was i don't know i just i don't even put on the sound either i just watch the thing and i know i have no volume on the thing i just watching what went on right because obviously you don't need to hear everything for know what's going on for some reason it's more funny without the sound on and i'm just like thinking to myself i just waiting for their reaction right they're like like so funny because it their face they're like boom they're watching the guy walk away then they're like realize like what the heck is that and they're like freaking out it's hilarious but that's the same thing with us right we can get freaked out when we don't feel the hand of the lord in our life 
the Lord wants you to know during those moments of the unknown or uncertainty or feeling like you've been abandoned, that's right there is not true, okay? The Satan, the Satan, Satan will want you to believe that the Lord has left you, that the Lord has forsaken you. Don't believe the lies of Satan. Don't believe the lies of the enemy because I'm going to tell you right now, that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to think and believe that you have been left all alone and that the Lord ain't working with you and that the Lord cannot work in you and the Lord is not working for you. He wants you to believe believe all the opposite of what the Lord stands for. And he will try and manipulate you and play with your thoughts, okay? And be in there with intrusive thoughts. Do know that you aren't what you think, okay? So you have to be mindful of where you, what you're focusing on because that's where your energy go, yeah? Okay. So do know the Lord never leaves you, the Lord never forsakes you, and the Lord is always there with you every step of the way. Grace is applied to every step that you take in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? Every step, the Lord is with you. Every step, everything you're thinking, everything you're feeling, everything you know, everything you've been through, everything you're going through right now in this present moment, the Lord knows. The Lord feels you. He knows everything concerning you. Amen. Everything concerning you. And do know, okay, being a chosen one, being a child of God, you thinking, Lord, why are these people giving me such a hard time? We're not up against flesh and blood, honey, okay? It's the wickedness and the evil principalities of this world, okay? It's not flesh and blood. And the only reason why it manifests in the human flesh is because those people are unhealed. You feel me? They're empty vessels. And what I mean by empty vessels, they were an empty cup. They view themselves as one shattered cup, meaning they're in that hurt space, they're in the hateful, hateful space, and they don't like to see other people happy. So what Satan do, Satan play with their thoughts, play with their minds, manipulate them, and all of a sudden, boom, they're just hating this person just because. The person they even do nothing to them, they, they're hating the person. Yeah? You may be on a vessel that the Lord can use. Amen. And I don't care. People think so just because they read the Bible and they know this and they know that and all of this. It doesn't matter what you know. It matters what you do with what you know. Because if you know the word of God, then you know the next step is to take action. It's a way of life. Yeah? It's a way of life. You're a living example to be all of what the Lord can create you to be. It's not about to gain read and fill up your carnal mind with all of this stuff so you can go ahead and dish them out to people and try to put them to shame because they don't know them just as well as you but honey it's more than just reading them for remember them it's living and breathing it amen when you look at the pages for the words when you're pouring yourself out into those pages the the word of god is filling you up because that's on serving Amen. That's for feed your spirit, for feed your soul. And the Holy Spirit, when you come to find out you're in the living temple of God and the Holy Spirit dwells within you, yeah, and you're realizing that you're not your own and that you belong to the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, then you start wondering like, oh, okay, man, wow, Jesus, Lord, I really was dazed and confused, lost. I was lost, but not no more, not no more. You got to claim me healing. Get to know who you are because there's other people out there who see you and they know. They can see your glow. They know you different. They know you're not like everybody else, okay? But when they're doing the works of Satan, amen, okay? You got, you got to know. You got to know, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, you got to know who you are. And how you going to know who you are is through the name of Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus, through everything that he has done for you on Calvary, amen? Amen. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Satan and his minions, they're working over time. Yeah? But he don't work as hard as the Lord does. And the Lord don't even need work quite hard anyways because it is what he say it is. Amen? Satan is the one who's over there desperate. He desperate. But he, you know, God's children, he no can touch them. He cannot. He has no dominion over us. But we the one that go and fall for the tricks. Yeah? But guess what? Satan, he has no new tricks. 
no new tricks he uses the same tactics always he used the same tactics and what he do he bounce around in other people especially them empty vessels those who's already there everything is crumbling why because they're not they're not they're not taking refuge in the, the shadow of the almighty no what they doing they're falling away to their temptations and what is the temptation tempted to hurt tempted to what kill steal and destroy other people's peace and their joy because they don't have that and they don't know how to get it they think they tried but they never because if they actually tried and they would try by not doing them on their own but knowing that it's the lord's hand in your life is the reason why you wouldn't receive true peace because there's nothing that you can do on your own or anything you can do for that matter to receive this you gotta surrender and humble yourself before the lord the lord is the one who fill you up the lord is the one who give you your cup Amen. Because you are not your own. You belong to him. But if you don't know that, what can happen? Easily you fall in the, the traps and the pits that Satan leave. And all the enemies, all your enemies lead you right into them. The blind lead, leading the blind. Yeah? Because that's the truth. You got to be mindful. You have to be mindful. The Holy Spirit help you, lead you and guide you to truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, help you discern who is good and who of evil yeah those masks that people masquerade on, around with they cannot hide from the chosen ones they cannot they can pretend all they want but they only are exposing themselves and how they expose themselves how do they expose themselves they expose themselves by the way they treat you they expose themselves by the tricks that they do Okay. And what happened? The Lord revealed them to you. The Lord showed them to you. Yeah. But you got to be mindful too. Because Satan can show you things too. That is not even true. Yeah. So you got to be mindful on who you're getting your messages from. Like I shared in other videos. When you can go to psychics and all these witches and stuff like that. To go and pry and spy and monitor other people's lives. Honey, do you best believe you're going to get them back tenfold. And it ain't going to be pretty. And that's why plenty of people wondering why they're suffering, why they're sick, why their finances is in a dump, why, why they're getting problems. Because of the energy and the stuff that they're doing behind closed doors that they think nobody else knows about. Guess what? The Lord knows everything. The Lord see right through that mask. The Lord see right through that fake smile. The Lord see right through all that facade. The Lord know who you are. Trust and believe. I don't care who you are and how well you think you are doing whatever it is you are and trying to pretend you cannot hide from the lord you cannot hide nothing from the lord the lord see right through everything he the one who create you yeah? yeah so it's important that you keep on shining you don't let satan still kill and destroy your peace and your joy okay because if anything gonna cause you okay for for lose it if it costs your peace, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I don't care what they're saying. I don't care what they're doing. It ain't worth it. They can think whatever they want to think. But guess what, honey? You ain't worth me going to jail, going to jail or going to hell for. Put it that much. I was just going to put it that way. You ain't worth it going to jail. And you ain't worth it going to hell for. So I'm good. Because guess what? The Lord is giving, my serv giving me my serving. And I... I give all the glory to him and he the reason why I have true peace. Amen. And all I got to do is stand firm, be steadfast, with my feet gritted and shod and rooted in the, in the name of Jesus and ready for the gospel of peace. The Lord is my present and current help and he is so is he is yours as well. So you you don't want to be afraid when you don't feel his hand on your shoulder, okay? Don't be afraid when you don't feel him. Because he is there. He will never leave you or forsake you. He is always with you. Always with you. Always with you, baby. 24-7, the Lord is with you always. And he sees everything concerning you. Okay? So for all the people that think that they're getting away with the stuff that they're doing to you behind closed doors. They're mocking you, scoffing at you. Trying to lay snaps, um, snaps, <laughs> lay snares and traps 
for you to trip and fall in honey none of that is going just you think don't think oh because they're all living it up this and that that they all g they're not all g they may think they is satan having them food thinking they g but they're not g they're not g and you know what some of them like play going try play the fool like they never know no they know exactly what they're doing they know exactly what they are doing and the lord know too the lord know the lord see everything because guess what no matter how good of a deed you try to do if you don't can give with charity in your heart meaning god kind of love if you're not giving with god kind of love all of that giving you just did was in vain amen and the lord knows your heart because he searches your heart yeah and our lord is on forgiving lord amen and all they gotta do is surrender they surrender everything all that wickedness turn away from them and turn to the lord surrender and get on their knees and just surrender and repent that's all they gotta do is repent to the lord asking for forgiveness but they're gonna have to mean it and they're gonna have to want it for themselves to be delivered from the wickedness so the lord can pull them up out of the darkness and into the light amen and the reason why they hate you is because you glowing you shining and that's the lord's light shining upon you and you irritating those demons that is in them that is the truth in the mighty name of jesus that is the truth all my life all my life i've been irritating people's demons all my life and still to today I do absolutely nothing but be nice and kind to people. These people don't even know me. They right off the bat, they don't like me. They hate me or whatever. And honestly, honey, <laughs> I don't care because I'm not here for you to like me. Just stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. Stay in your lane. Toot toot beep beep. I don't care you put your blinker. Stay on your stay in your lane. Amen? Because nobody is worth what? Nobody is worth your peace. Because guess what? What Jesus Christ has done in Calvary on that cross for you and me and everybody, is it worth it for you to lose your peace over somebody being petty because they jealous, because they envious, because they just don't know what love is? They just, they just don't know. Right? They just don't understand. But it's not your job, okay, to make them feel better by giving them your power. So what you do, we keep on walking and working with the Lord because the Lord is the one who going to pull them up out of the darkness and into the light. Amen. That's not our job to do that. What the Lord wants us to do is to be encouraging, loving, help, and share what we learn when we receive messages from the holy spirit whatever the lord put in our heart for share and that most importantly the lord want us to be who he went create us to be we don't need ask for permission from nobody for shine baby okay we don't need ask anybody for permission to be who the lord went create us to be okay no, we don't need to ask for permission. You want to know why? Because Jesus Christ is our authority. And in the name of Jesus Christ, there is freedom and liberty. In the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that heals you from inside and out and transforms you. Amen. Everything that he has done, it ain't in vain, baby. He has done it to save you, to transform you, amen? To liberate you, to set you free. So you don't let Satan, you don't let Satan come waltzing in and over there and start putting you down. Don't believe nothing. Any ugly, intrusive thought, that's Satan. Just flick it to the curb. Be like, not, not, not. Stay in your lane, Satan. Not today. Mm -mm. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Not today. Okay? No, no. Uh-uh. Nope. It's not worth your peace. Mm -mm. It's not worth going to jail for or going to hell for. Just saying. Okay? Okay. So. <laughs> that prank, though, is hilarious. 
um, if you go on to my YouTube thingy, I don't know how to explain it, I guess my, my account, my YouTube thing, and then you go under my playlist, I will go ahead and put it under, which one should I put it under? Mm. I will make a new playlist, and I'm just going to put for kicks and giggles, okay? Kicks and giggles. Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no scratch that I'm gonna put for um, laughter is healing okay laughter is healing so that's gonna be the name of the playlist and I'll have that prank video in there and then you guys can go watch them and then you guys go and get one 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 other perspective of what I was just explaining and it's gonna be hilarious trust me if you don't laugh at that video go pray because I don't know who will not laugh at that video that video is hilarious okay it's funny their reaction to seeing the person walk off then they're like looking at the person walking away they're like whoa they they cannot comprehend what what's going on like okay the person walking away what the heck is that on my shoulder and then they go from clueless though no, they go from when they're aware they're they're acknowledging now okay the guy walking away and then they feel the sensation now they're curious they went from acknowledging to clueless wait no they went from clueless to acknowledging to um <laughs> to afraid to angry they went through like three or four different emotions in like seconds okay and it's funny how the very 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 last emotion that they felt was laughter though because the guys went go like you know hey it's just a prank we're, we're so sorry had one guy he got kind of upset he actually chased one of chased them and then they were like whoa, whoa, whoa it's just a prank but anyway you can see that prank video you see people going from a zero to a hundred real quick and but it's hilarious yeah no one was hurt in making of that um prank video but you guys should definitely go check them out yeah it is it is hilarious but anyhow laughter is healing okay and the lord does have a wonderful sense of humor okay the lord is the goofball too okay because i'm gonna tell you right now the lord is the one i give full credit on why i am the way i am the lord will do this like he even create this right here okay my personality my my creativeness my kindness the love that i have in my heart my everything this is all his doing I belong to him just like you you belong to him amen so I bless your name Lord and I thank you so much Lord for the opportunity Lord to share and encourage all my brothers and my sisters and to help shine some light in areas Lord that need acknowledging in the mighty name of Jesus may you help us and lead us through Lord in your holy name Jesus I pray amen thank you guys so much go check them out okay aloha